We're painting the roses red. We're painting the roses red. Do 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 do. Chop off a head. We're painting the roses red. We're painting the roses red, 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 red. Do 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 do. That's my introduction song to you, everybody. It's Jen Richards here, co-founder and creator of Rumbles Paleo, and it's a wonderful Thursday evening, so I just wanted to sing for you. And do you know what, actually, if I wasn't running my own health food company, I would so love to be a host of Play School. That is like my dream job. And I think it might come true one day, actually, because not so long ago when I was a primary school teacher, I used to dream of running my own health food company and look what's happened, I now do. So I'm gonna keep dreaming of being a host of Play School and then right after this, I'm gonna take some steps to make it come true. I wonder what you guys could do if you just took teeny weeny little steps each and every day to making your dreams come true. Whatever that dream is in your heart that you go to sleep with each night and you wake up thinking about or when you're drinking your coffee and you see a, a vision of it in your coffee cup or in your tea leaves, if you took small incremental steps towards that each day um, and kept that dream in the forefront of your mind, just imagine what you could do. Like one of my favorite questions is what if? Anyway, we're not supposed to be talking about that tonight. We're supposed to be cooking. That's right. We're going to be making wombat stew. Yes. Actually, no, I don't eat wombats, not in public anyway. So let's make something else instead. Let's make cauliflower rice, hooray! All right, cauliflower rice. Now, most people who follow a paleo-ish sort of diet know what cauliflower rice is. Um, some people don't. So cauliflower rice is just cauliflower that's been blitzed down into little pieces that look about the size of rice. And why would you even want to eat cauliflower rice instead of normal rice, I wonder? Well, there's a few reasons. If you're trying to cut back on grains, then you will try this alternative. If you're, you know, watching your carb count, did you just watch those carbs go by? <laughs> I did. Anyway, if you're trying to lower your carb count, you would switch to cauliflower rice because there's not nearly as many carbs in cauliflower as there are in rice. And maybe you just want to, you know, try something different or you want to try and get the kids to eat more vegetables so you can put their curry sauce all over their, their cauliflower rice and pretend it's normal rice. There's many reasons why you want to have cauliflower rice. Anyway, so to make it, what I've done is I've got a whole cauliflower. You don't have to use a whole cauliflower. You can use as much as or as little as you need. And I've just put it in my blender here and I've blitzed it up half at a time. So I blitzed up half the cauliflower for just a few seconds in my Thermomix. Then I took it out and I put in the other half and I blitzed that up for a few seconds in my Thermomix. And if you don't have a Thermomix, you can use just a normal blender or you can always just use a a box grater as well. Or you can get out your knives and you can go ninja style. Actually, that's my preferred way to do it because if I'm not gonna be the host of Play School, I will be a secret sniper ninja who goes out and rescues people from burglars and stuff like that. Anyway, so to cook your cauliflower rice, what I've done is I've just melted down some ghee. I use ghee, I love ghee. You could use coconut oil, butter, or um, olive oil. Olive oil does give it a certain taste though. Um, macadamia oil, avocado oils are all good oils, 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 oils as well. And I've just sauteed some onion and garlic. You don't have to do that. You can skip that step, but it just adds extra flavor to the cauliflower rice. So what I'm simply going to do now is I'm going to throw, no, I'm going to gently place the cauliflower rice into the saucepan, like that. Takes a lot of skill to do that. Are you up for it, my friends? Are you? I think you are. And I'm going to stir it up and I'm just going to fry it off. I might put in some more butter actually as well, or ghee. I'm going to fry it off for a few minutes and then I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to let the cauliflower steam for another three or four minutes. You don't want to steam it for too long because then the cauliflower turns to mush 
and you have mashed cauliflower instead. So you want to saute it for a few minutes in the oil, then you want to put the lid on and let it steam away over a medium heat for another few minutes. And then what you can do if you want, you can throw some coriander through it, you can add some whatever you want really, some turmeric. People say that turmeric is spectacular for you. Um, so you could add that, curry powder, whatever. And I'm going to serve it up with the curry we made not last night but the night before. So if you missed that video, head back to the video before because I showed you all how to make a delicious curry that's dairy free, gluten free, grain free in less than half an hour. So go back and watch that. So that is how you make cauliflower rice. And I can see Kirsty there. Hi Kirsty. I haven't seen you in ages. I love you by the way. Anyway, so if you want some more recipes, please head to the Rumbles Paleo blog and I've got a new free downloadable cookbook up there. It's our adventure cookbook. And there's lots of other healthy recipes and tips there as well. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my song and I shall speak with you soon. Bye everybody and bye Kirsty.